Once you log in to DegreeWorks, you will see your degree audit or worksheet. The boxes in gray show information such as academic advisor name, majors, and holds. This information is pulled from our student information system. If something is not correct on the audit, contact your academic advisor. Beneath that, you will see the degree progress bar. This will give you a general idea of your progress towards graduation. Keep in mind, the progress bar takes into account not just your courses, but also other requirements required for graduation, such as needing a 2.0 GPA and having a minimum of 39 upper division hours. All requirements will be listed below. Another note about the progress bar is as you register for classes, the progress bar will tick up. Degree requirements are organized in blocks. On the left, you will see the name of the requirement, and on the right, you will see the specific information on what you will need to do to satisfy that requirement. Or, if the requirement is completed, you will see what course was used to satisfy that requirement. One of the first things you may notice as you review your audit is the color coding. Requirements in green mean they have been satisfied. The ones in yellow mean that you are registered in that course. Requirements in red are still needing to be met. Important information and reminders will be in gray. You can click on any of the courses to view course information, such as the name, prerequisites, and description. The first block will be general requirements. Then you will see a block for core classes. All students are required to complete core requirements. Some requirements need more than one class in order to be satisfied. For example, in the core, life and physical sciences is one such requirement. This student has taken one class so far, but per degree works, still needs three credits in any of these classes. For now, the requirement will be color-coded in red. Once they register for a course, it will turn to yellow and once passed, it will change to green. The blocks that follow will be for your major, minor, if you have one, and a list of community college courses that have been transferred to UTSA. Transfer courses will appear in DegreeWorks after the transcript has been processed by admissions. Additional courses will list any classes that were passed but do not count towards your major. Insufficient lists courses that were dropped, failed, or did not receive a grade necessary for the major. For example, engineering requires a C- or better in Engineering 2323. This student earned a D, which is why it is listed under insufficient. There is a section that shows in-progress courses, and not counted will list remedial courses and courses with grades that have been excluded from the GPA. A legend is included at the bottom of the screen to help you understand the various symbols. Students who are pursuing two majors of the same degree type will find information for both majors on the same page. Examples of degree types are Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts. For example, Biology and Health are both Bachelor of Science degrees. Students who are double majoring in two different degree types will need to toggle between the two. For example, this student is pursuing a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Public Administration. This student needs to select the degree type at the top of the screen to move between the two majors. For more information about other DegreeWorks topics, including other videos, please visit our website at utsa.edu slash DegreeWorks.